everybody welcome back to our channel we went to Walmart in the middle of the night because what's the benefit of having a 24-hour Walmart if you don't go in the middle of the night well all the other people going in the middle of the night are either insomniacs or crazy people oh wait a minute I'm both <laughs> oh my gosh well yeah you know Jim works overnight and the nights that he's off he's up so I was like well let's go in the middle of the night it's a date right a date to Walmart um could be worse <laughs> Actually, we needed Jello <coughs> for Mom's cookies. Yes, Mom makes these Jello cookies. She calls them pastels, and they're delicious. Well, she has different varieties, but this year she's making. She makes a pineapple cookie and sprinkles the orange Jello powder on top. Sometimes she makes like a strawberry cookie with blueberry on top. Yeah, she just has like different that. combinations. It's really good. Um, so we went hey, there. Dog. We went there to get that, and then they were out of my creamer yesterday when we shopped. So we went to go see if they had stocked up tonight, and they did. Um, but of course, while we were there, we got some other stuff. She's doing a unicorn rainbow nursery theme. Um, and, well, her name is Luna. So yeah, Luna Juliet. Did I say Luna Grace? I didn't say Luna Grace. It's Luna Juliet. I don't know if I did say Luna Grace. Why did Luna Grace just pop in her head? I may or may not have said that, but it's Luna Juliet. Anyway, I did find... Not exactly the, the way she was thinking about going, but I found Fat Quarters. And this is, oh, okay. So this is a really pretty pink cloud background with different colored unicorns, but they're more horse-like with clouds. And they're so pretty. There's pink and purple unicorns and a light blue one. Yeah, and, sorry. And they're Fat Quarters, so I got four of them, which will make a yard of fabric. But I do have a project in mind for them. Um, when does she not? Um, I was also in the remnant bin and they had fleece in the remnant bin. I was so excited. This is 60 inches by 31 inches and it's white. And this was a $1.65 remnant and it's just a white fleece. Okay. And they had a pink, like a hot pink fleece. Uh, this is 26 inches at 60 inches wide and this was $1.36. So that's that hot pink right there. But this... Oh, and then one more remnant that's... Well, I'll show you in a second. Then I was going to say, because it's not baby related. And I found some fabrics. I'm going to save that one for the best for last, because that's my favorite. But I found this pastel rainbow. It is, it is a pastel rainbow. So it's like pink and then light yellow, light green, light blue, light purple. A little darker purple, a little darker blue green. It's pretty... And one thing you might it. not be able to tell in this image because of the lights is it's sparkly. Yeah, it's sparkly. Oh, here. There you go. There's a good color for it. But I thought it looked real. Oh, hold on. <laughs> let me let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> so I thought they looked really cute together. <laughs> um, so I found that. And this was still wrapped in plastic. So I told the lady, I was like, is this new? Then I found this really pretty pale... Polka pink dot. and lavender polka dot flannel and flannel for a baby in Texas nah. well babies have to stay warm and she's being born in March so even in Texas it can get cool but here's my favorite one it's called rosette fleece and it is these beautiful first of all it's so soft and it's all these little rosettes like this fur there you go. And it's a rose color. Do you see them now? You can see them here. Look here when I when I cover the light. You see how it swirls? It's so pretty. And it's so soft. It and looks <laughs> like a pink polar bear got scalped. This was $8 a yard. The flannel was $4.97 a yard. The rainbow, pastel rainbows, was $5.96 a yard. Okay? And um, these... You know what? I don't know how much these were. I'll put them on. I'll I'll put the print down below because they, their fat quarters range from ninety seven cents to a dollar forty seven. So, but I figured either way, it was worth it. And um, the last scrap that I got, the remnant I got, that was not baby related. It's forty four inches wide by twenty six inches, and it's cotton, and it's this really pretty duct. It's just so me. It's this black and taupe kind of colored stripe. 
What are you gonna make with that? I don't know. A pillow, cover, trims on stuff. I mean, it just was a scrap. It was a remnant. So I, that's what a dollar forty-two. The majority of my fabric bins, this or hand-me-downs. So, so that was it. And Eden, if you're watching this, I hope I picked out some good choices. And you're just gonna have to wait to see what I'm making. So too bad. So the next thing I want to show you, which is sort of off the beaten path is which one you want no jim got a christmas sweater so jim got like an i don't want to say ugly <laughs> christmas sweater but i guess that's what it's supposed to be it says happy holidays and a merry chimichanga and that is deadpool which we thought was the coolest if you guys don't know deadpool is from like a marvel, marvel. superhero but he's sort of a uh He's a wild uh, hero. He's, what, hero, he's right? what the comic world would call a wild card. You don't know what side he's really on as long as he makes it out on top. <laughs> but um, so Jim got that. It was ten ninety six, which I thought was a great price. Off of that subject, you all finish watching the video before you run to Walmart. Yeah. Okay. But for four dollars and ninety seven cents. Nice story. I going. It says going home for the holidays. I know it's so hard to see. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like you see me or you see the stuff. I know you really want to see the stuff. It says going home for the holidays. If this snow is all glittery, which I know you can't really see very well. Yay! All over my car. <laughs> like I said, it says going home for the holidays, and this is like a wood panel old um, SUV with the tree on top and there's snow on the tree and the snow on the trees got glitter basically everywhere there's snow is glitter you can feel it um and it's that iridescent glitter and the word holiday um but jim said if you can tell me what you're going to do with it you know then yeah you can get it but i reminded him and this is a tip i'll share with you guys i have a few of these types of boxes i use them to store stuff like christmas stockings and ornaments when i put them in the big totes but then what they're really nice for is after Christmas, I leave my tree up until the Epiphany. We've talked about that. And I leave these under the tree, so it kind of still looks like there's presents under the tree, even though they're just empty storage boxes. So that's my tip for the day. Actually, I'm gonna give this to you and put stuff back in it, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't right. remember. Um, I've got hot hummers. I saw these. And I had to share them. I, oh, this one just, the tag just came off. <laughs> but I saw Good these job. and I was like, oh, I have to share them with you guys. They are like the C5 ornaments or C6 ornaments. I'm sorry. That's the size. My my dad inherited, well, my dad was an only child, so he inherited everything from his parents. But my dad had a set of these light bulbs from his, uh, lights from his mom that we had up until the flood. They always went out on my outside of my house. And when I had to go try to find the light bulbs, that's a C6 <laughs> light bulb replacement. It's C3 and C6 are the two sizes we had. That's why I keep calling it that. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Well, I remember it. we had something similar before we went to Germany. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, they're old-fashioned light bulbs, but, I mean, we had 70s. them. 70s. I, I, they might still hang them at 481. I don't know. We're not uh, there anymore. But um, And I don't know. Did they get wet in the flood? They might have. Ooh, they might have. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Because the stuff in the utility room. But anyway, these are fillable ornaments. They have, like, you take the tops off and you can fill them. And I just thought they were so cute. And I'd never seen them before. And they were 98 cents each. And they're plastic. And then, you know, I was looking for these little trees for 98 cents. They had white ones. So I found two white bottle brush trees, 98 cents each. They had white and green and um, silver and like the gold color, like the tan color. And we can put them back in here in a second. I'll show them. And another 97 cent product was, it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year and it's in this great buffalo check. I know, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And it's got this black grow grain ribbon, which, hello, Jerry, we made you a box. Just saying. So I still don't know why they call it buffalo. It does not look like a buffalo. <laughs> I have seen buffalo. That well, is too. Well, it could be. It could be buffalo. It could be buffalo. The city or in the state of New York. I mean, it could. It's too small, too square to be a buffalo. Um. They won't eat my grass during the summertime. 
So that's, is that it for Christmas stuff? Um, I mean presents, but that's it for decorations and stuff, right? Yeah, I think yeah, that's I think so. it for decorations. Let me take that. I'll show them what I got. So we bought some donuts for breakfast. It's, uh, it's Saturday night, so we'll have some donuts for breakfast tomorrow. And I got an apple fritter. Hey, <laughs> it says it said Bavarian cream, but it's like a sugary glazed one. And I wanted to introduce you guys who are not from here. This is what they call a long john. So I moved to Missouri four and a half years ago, and I never heard of a long john. I live I lived in New York where they had like every food you could possibly imagine. I never heard of a long john. I wouldn't even know what to call them in New York. We have Corollas, but these aren't Corollas. This is like a long donut. And this one's chocolate. And they have cream inside. In Hence, fact, in fact, my cousin God. Kelly um, loves the kind of cream that's inside of these that she gets at her at Dunkin' Donuts. So hi Kelly, if you're watching. Um, wish I could send you a long john. When you come visit, I'll get you some long johns. Ha <laughs> ha. So we got those. And those were all 58 cents a donut. This says 58 cents each. Yeah. And this was a score. This was a major <laughs> score. Quaker pumpkin spice oatmeal. I cannot believe these were a dollar a box. They were on clearance. They had two cases worth. How did we not buy two cases? We have no place to keep two cases of oatmeal, but we would have because they're good till June, June 24th, 2018. Yeah. So we got three. Jim got two and we got one for Sharon for Christmas. Hi, Sharon, if you're watching, guess what you're getting for Christmas? No, we'll send her some because I know she can have oatmeal and she loves pumpkin spice everything. So I got her a medium pink to try. And again, this is the $7 on clearance robe with the hearts cut out. And it comes in this really pretty wrapped in a ribbon. But then in the back, they had the $7 pajamas that are also these fleece. And in that bin of the $7 pajamas, I found a large in the gray, which I know gray is not really her color, but if, you know, if it's a robe, I don't know that it's, she wears a red one. Red's not her favorite color, so. But I know she loves pink. She loves pink and light blue, so pastelis. Well, you know. So it's... I got her the gray one and the large, and she could try them on. So I want to make macaroni salad. So I boiled up some whole wheat noodles, macaroni, elbows, and I needed peppers. I like peppers in mine, peppers and celery and onions. I like them in my macaroni salad. And I thought, let's get these because I could use them for other stuff. They do keep in the refrigerator pretty well. If you've never seen these, these are mini yellow, red, and green. No, not green. <laughs> yellow, red, and orange peppers. And they're snacking, actually. My goddaughter, Rebecca, turned me on to them when I was with visiting her last, I think last spring break. She would just keep these in and snack on them. So I was like, really? I'm gonna try them and they were good. They're good to just snack on because they're sweet. Found the Italian sweet cream. Got that. I broke my arm for that, thank you. But I also was so excited that I found sugar-free peppermint mocha. The most wonderful time of the year. Here, hold this. Snap it in a couple. If you're a polar bear and you get to hibernate. I needed tomatoes from. Why is my nose so itchy? You keep like, touching my nose the whole time. I needed tomatoes. Not to need tomatoes. I wanted tomatoes for my salad. Um, and I found these. I never heard them before. Del Monte Bonbon. Sweet grape tomatoes. Tomates, raisins, sucres. Sucres. This is 10 ounces. This first thing. For two dollars and forty-eight cents of grape tomatoes, which are now on the floor, um, I needed my nasal cord. You guys know I use this, and I was kind of like, I had a three-dollar off coupon. This five dollars for twice as much. Five dollars more for twice as much. So twelve dollars and ninety-four cents for thirty days, and it's Yay. seventeen dollars and ninety-four cents for sixty days. So how do you not spend five dollars more and get twice as much? I went ahead and I saved three dollars off. I got this. When they had free, they had coupons on the thing one day and they were good until December of 2018, I grabbed a bunch. So hold that for a second. I got a flip cup for myself. This is coffee brownie. They were a dollar each. This is by Chibani. Chibani flip cup. Chibani? We got mom her jello for her cookies. We got an orange jello. Jim actually went and brought it home from work, but it's sugar free. So guess who gets to have jello? I found a sugar-free French vanilla pudding, which I'd never seen French vanilla before, so I'm gonna try that. 
<laughs> God bless you. And a sugar-free lemon pudding. Guys, I love lemon. I had no idea in a pudding. So excited. Let's have that food back. You're gonna melt my, you're gonna sour my cream cheese. Your cream cheese, yeah, um, your cream my, cheese. Yeah, you know what I mean. Does anybody really know what you mean? Shut up. You guys know what I mean, right? And the last thing, that's they, a, that's the last thing. Is this, okay. So, a little backstory, because I know this video is not long enough, so I have to tell you a little backstory. I grew up in New York. Really? I grew up on Long Island. Really? Shut up. I'm telling the people. Talking to the people. Stop being mean. Like, like they couldn't, they could, they couldn't tell by your accent that no, you're not people. from the Midwest. <laughs> well, no. Some people know I'm not from the Midwest. They just don't know where I'm from. Well, you're not from Boston. Well, when I was growing up, my dad used to go hunting upstate. We always called everything that was not on Long Island was upstate. And he would always bring back apples. And my favorite apples are Macintosh. And Mac they're Mac Mac. all over New York, like, from... I mean, you can get them all year, but they're, like, super cheap at towards from the end of the summer until, like, Christmas. And they are the rarest apple in Missouri. <laughs> Maybe not the whole state of Missouri, but in Rolla, it is so hit or miss. One year, one grocery store will have them. The next year, the next grocery, just for like two weeks. So, like, hey, people, guess what? We got Max. Come and get them. I They're feel gone. like I feel like that's the case. Wow. Did I? She score? got a bag of Max. It's a bushel. I think it's a half bushel bag. It looks like about a half bushel. I was so excited. So, if you never had a Max, this is it. They're they're little to medium size. This is a little one. I don't see any big ones in here. What I would consider a Big Mac. <laughs> big Mac. Um, don't push too hard. You'll too hard. He's right. And they're, um, I like them because their flesh is soft. And I've always had some sensitive gums. Um, so the meat is soft. The flesh is soft. And they have like a mostly sweet, tiny tart taste. What's the face? But delicious has the sweetest flavor. I didn't say it didn't. And I didn't say there wasn't sweeter apples. Can I describe the apple to the people who have never had a Macintosh? It's tart. It's not tart. Granny okay. Smith's are tart. There's yeah, tart yeah. apples. <laughs> they, yeah. This is a sweet apple with a tart undertone. Don't Please let me describe the apple. Don't have to eat. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot these okay. two items. Ah. <laughs> they were by my feet. And I also love them because their shelf life is pretty good. And didn't we use those one year to make our own potpourri? No. I take the stems and I boil them with cinnamon sticks when I want to do air fresh. Yeah, that's what, that's yeah. what I meant. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I, I used the wrong word. I said potpourri. And I said stems, but I meant core. God, it makes the house smell really like an apple pie. So, we found something else. <laughs> it was the apples were supposed to be last, and Jim's like, I found a bag. Why don't you show the people? We decided, because Mom said... She asked. I asked her. Mom, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Mom asked for a pair of sweats, uh, sweatshirts because she needs new ones. So we found sweatshirts that we think will be adequate enough for mom. One was this, I almost call it, almost call it a rose coral look to me. At least, at least that's what it looks like to me. And I know mom loves rose and light blue. So the other one we got her was... Her favorite color. Her favorite color, I think it's a pastel blue. Yep, she's called sky blue. Is what she yeah, she called. calls it a sky blue. I call it a pastel blue. Um, so we got her the two new uh, sweatshirts. Sky blue is her favorite color. Yeah. And those were four dollars, five dollars and ninety four cents. It says on the check. Oh. Five ninety six. Yep, five ninety six each. Which is not too bad for a sweatshirt this time of year. That's actually a steal. That's everything from Walmart. Yep. Except sodas, because you always got to get a soda, Jim, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. 
And don't forget to share this video with anybody you know might be interested in running out and getting that box from the Christmas section. And if Once you, have, you see the video. <laughs> if you haven't yet, click subscribe, join the family when you do, you ring the little bell, and YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video or we upload a new video. And as always, take care, God bless, see you next time. Bye. See?